Any black country. Matt's Magical Music at Moments, one song, two versions, all on the way between now and seven, plus talking to lyricist Don Black after the news at six o'clock. I cannot wait to talk to you. Neither can I wait to talk to my next guest. So my first guest this afternoon is now becoming a regular, not only on this show, but at the top of the Christmas chart. I kid you not, this is absolutely true. YouTube stars Mark and Roxanne Hoyle have now raised for the Trussell Trust a gazillion pounds for the Food Bank Charity with their sausage roll themed singles since 2018. This year's attempt is a cheeky version of Ed and Elton's Merry Christmas song called Sausage Rolls for Everyone. I don't know how he does it. It's inspired. It's uh, Mark Hoyle, a.k.a. Lad Baby, is on the phone. Hey! Hello. Yay! Yeah, hello, and, hello, hello. And I've got to say, true to form, you're outside a fast food restaurant. <laughs> I, I am. I mean, this is where you can find me most of the year, to be honest. But yeah, it feels appropriate tonight. It does. Get an inspiration for your next song. I mean, always. I mean, this is this is where I need to be for inspiration in the, the local fast food place. Always. Oh, bless your heart. All for research purposes as well. And exactly. I don't want to be here because I want to be here. This is work. This isn't good of course for me. It is. I know you hang about the the really posh restaurants, but you know, today you're doing it for us. Listen, thank you. And we've said we said last year. I'm going to start off with this. First of all, congratulations on doing what you've, you've done because Thank you have you. raised a lot of money for a really good cause uh, over the last few years. Who knew? I mean, yeah. I mean, look, it's, it's been amazing the last few years to, to be able to, to have had so much backing, so much support for, for a worthy cause. And it's, it's exciting to be back again, trying again. It really is exciting. It is. Now, this time, you've sort of pulled the stops out. And I want to talk about this because I don't know how does this work. So I imagine this is in my head how this has gone. OK, Go so you're Go you're at home and you, you're uh, you having a, a conversation with Roxanne and you've gone, oh, should we do another single this year? And she goes, yeah, yeah, we could, babes, because that's how she talks. Yeah, we, we yeah, could. Yeah. Babes. Um, should we do it on our own? No. Shall we ask two of the biggest names in, in music to do it? Yeah, we could do. Shall we ask them? And um, you picked up the phone to Elton John. And he went, uh, yeah, no problem. And then Ed said, oh, can I have a go, please, too? Is, am I right? Am I close? I mean, that sounds better than what actually happened. So I'm happy to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> so no, what happened? What? How, did this, how did this happen? Because you're now, you, you're releasing a version of their new single with yes. them. How did that happen? Basically, so last Christmas when we got number one, Ed was lovely enough to message me and Rox on Instagram. And he said, congratulations, and he thought it was lovely what we were doing for charity. And he hopes that we were Christmas number one every year, which was lovely of him. Bless him. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, about six months ago, we was actually uh, working with the Trussell Trust. We went to see some of the food banks and was talking about the problem that they were going to be facing this Christmas. Um, expected 7,000 food parcels a day. And so we thought, you know what, let's, let's try. Let's try one more time. So um, I messaged uh, Ed on Instagram. I asked whether or not he'd be up for trying to help us try and break a record, try and raise more money than ever before. Um, and he said that him and Elton had already, uh, had already started working on a song already. They was working on Merry Christmas for Everyone. Um, and was me and Rocks prepared to, to do a parody of that and do something fun with that? So obviously we thought about it for about one tenth of a second. And I said, of course. Yeah. of course, of course. So, so did yeah, you go, yeah. have, you, you've met, have you met Elton, John? Of course, yeah. So basically, yeah. they sent us they sent us the lyrics to their song. We spent about four weeks uh, rewriting them, making them silly, sausage rolled up to the max. Um, and then we went down to London. We spent a day with Ed. Uh, we wow. shown him the lyrics, which I've got to say was a nerve wracking experience to show one of the biggest, uh, best songwriters on the planet your sausage roll lyrics. But he loved yeah. it. Uh, he changed almost nothing. Um, and then we did a two day shoot: one day with Ed, one day with Elton. Um, and it was amazing. And everyone got dressed up. It was so funny. We ate sausage rolls. It was the perfect Christmas magic. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, that is a dream come true. I mean, look how far you've come. You're sitting in McDonald's car park, though, I have to say. So that's not quite a show business I'd like it to be. Hey, hey, I, I mean, yeah, no, you're right. No, I haven't come that far. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got this single. And you, you, like you say, it's a parody of their brand new single. And... You, how does that work? Because they're, they're milking that now at the moment. They want to be number one at Christmas. But the chances are, Mark, and I've got to tell you this, I know you won't agree, the chances are you will be number one with their song. I hope that's kind so. of how that's going to work. Yeah. That's only going to happen if everybody pre-orders now and downloads it as of Friday. But if that is the case, I mean, that'll be amazing. I think what's lovely about it, whether it's uh, our version or their version, 
uh, it's all raising money for charity. So their version is raising money for their respective charities. This version is raising money for the Trussell Trust. And I think that's yeah. what Christmas should be about. It should be about raising money for, you know, amazing causes and trying to give back. So, no, look, it's exciting. And I'm so excited for everyone to see the video on Friday. I'm about ready to burst. It's going to be so cool. You have the most fun with doing this as well. I mean, the Trussell Trust, obviously what you're doing for them is incredible. They, you know, the amount of money you bring is incredible because you've got Elton John and Ed Sheeran. Have you kind of a rough idea what kind of money you're going to raise? Have you any idea? Are we talk, we're talking millions. Are we? I mean, I've got no idea. I mean, I guess it all depends on how many people uh, download it and how many people pre-order it. So, I mean, that, that is, that is the most important thing right now. It's getting as many people behind it um, mm. and, and downloading it. And yeah, look, I, I can't wait for everyone to see it. And, I'm excited. No matter what it raises, it's it's a win because it's more than what it would have done if we didn't do it. So it's it's a win-win. And this is a coup as well for you as well. I mean, I still think I asked you this last time. Do you spend all year focusing on this one? And I know you'll say, oh, we didn't plan to do this again or whatever. But do you spend all year, okay, Christmas is 12 months away. What are we going to do? Or have you got plans to do anything else? No, you know what? It was, it, as I say, it was, it was like summer when we started thinking about this. This is when we initially we reached out to Ed and it was probably about four weeks after that, about five months ago that we got their, their version of the lyrics and about four months ago we went and met Ed. So, I mean, it's been, it's been on and off for six months, but um, mm. yeah, obviously the last sort of month has been pretty, pretty intense, getting it all ready, going and doing the music videos and trying to keep it a secret has been the hardest I know. thing. Well, I, I'm, I'm not, not going to tell not, a soul. To get out. I, I mean, know, Do you, you, you realise if you become number one, you will be a record breaker? Uh, and you will beat the likes of Elvis and the Beatles for consecutive number ones at Christmas. I mean, what's that feel like? I mean, what's amazing is not only are we going to beat that record, potentially, it's also the Trust will Trust will as well. The food yes. bank that we raise it for. I mean, look, it's, it's, it's exciting, isn't it? So fingers it? crossed, fingers crossed. Oh, look, even if you're number one, which I find it highly unlikely, but even if you're not, the fact that you're doing this and you're raising awareness of the cause, you're doing it with, I mean, I don't know, are you an Elton John fan anyway? To do it with maybe a childhood hero, I mean, that must be amazing for you. I mean, is, is there anybody on the planet, planet that isn't an Ed or an Elton fan right now? I don't think I mean, there are, no. I, I mean, so it's, look, I mean, there was a real star, starstruck moment, an emotional moment for me when, when we was in the studio and, Elton John was singing our lyrics. I got quite moved by it because obviously it's it's Elton John and he's there singing about a sausage roll. And it was so, so surreal, but so lovely. So I've got an odd feeling yeah. it was probably surreal for him too. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I, I bet it was. I bet having, you know, recorded such incredible songs, uh, he's yeah. there singing about a sausage roll. So no. It's, it's, it's only the lyric he would have written all those years ago, but you know, you had to come and do it yourself. So exactly, uh, he, exactly. He's doing he's doing an interview somewhere around the world now. Go, well, I, I can't believe I'm performing with Lad Baby. It's just the <laughs> most the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I, listen, hope so. we'll, I hope that's true. Well, I'm sure it is true. We're going to play their version because yours doesn't come out until Friday. Where can we get it from? If we want to pre-order it, where do we do it? Uh, iTunes is probably the best place. That's the easiest place. to Go over there, put in Lad Baby sausage rolls for everyone. Get, get, please pre-order in. And it's available on Friday. You can get it on Friday. The video's out Friday as well. Yep, yeah, Friday's the, the day. And then the following Friday is Christmas Day. Oh, sorry, Christmas Eve, which means Christmas the Eve. Christmas chart. So, so that's, we've got that one week, one week to get everyone on it. Please, please, please. You're absolutely going to get on it. Listen, Mark, thank you. I, I, I've got a feeling I'm going to talk to you next year. <laughs> you never know. And enjoy, enjoy your Christmas. Have a great time. Say hi to the family for me. I will do. Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you, Mark. Lad baby, everybody. He's there hey! and he's live in a, in a, in a restaurant. Bless his little